In this video, I will be showing you how to create a waitlist landing page on Wix. Once you have created your Wix account, which you can do for completely free, I want you to tap on Create New Site. Once you have tapped on Create New Site, you'll be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you'll be redirected to a new page. On your new page, you are going to tap on Set Up Without Chat. After doing that, I want you to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in Landing Page and you are going to select Landing Page. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on Continue. After tapping on Continue, you are going to give it a few seconds while the dashboard is being prepared. Once the dashboard is up and running, you can enter the name of your site. So for example, I'll just call this test page, just for example sake. After you have done that, you can tap on continue. Once you have done that, you can choose the goals for your site, or you can simply tap on skip in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, we'll tap on skip once more, and we're going to tap on go to dashboard. Once our dashboard is up and running, you're going to tap on Design Site in the top right hand corner. After tapping on Design Site, I want you to tap on Pick a Template. Once you have selected Pick a Template, you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to simply go and hover right on the Business Services as you can see right here. And we're going to be selecting Coming Soon. After you have tapped on Coming Soon, you can see some nice templates that you can choose from to create a waitlist landing page. Now let's say for example, I would like to use this one. All I'll need to do is simply tap on edit. You could select this one with the countdown timer if you want, or you could add a countdown timer to your waitlist landing page. I'll be showing you how to do that. So we are going to select edit. After you have selected edit, you will give it a few seconds while your website is being created in the background. Once it is up and running, all you will need to do is close the pop-up, then tap on the plus 50%. After you have tapped on the plus 50%, at the moment this is how our website looks. And to start editing it, all you will need to do is hover over any section that you would like to edit, then tap on quick edit, and from there you could make changes. So let's say, for example, I want to change the name in the top left hand corner. I could do that by simply typing in the name right there that I'd like to add. I could also change the paragraph right here. Are you ready for our new online store? You could change it to whatever you want. You could also change the strip background color if you want. Once everything is to your liking, again, you could change the text right here from coming soon. You can also change each image, so you could tap on the image, then tap on change image. And from here, you could, for example, tap on upload media in the top left hand corner, and you could upload an image from your device. Or what you could do, you could also tap on media from Wix. And then from there, you could type in some, you could type in the type of image that you want, and you'll be provided with some copyright free images that you could use. So for example, I'll just type in, for example, products. So let me do that. And then from there, I'm going to select this product, for example, then tap on choose image in the bottom right hand corner. And I'll also change this image right here. And I'll tap there, tap on change image once more, tap on media from Wix. And I'm going to type in products once more. And I'm going to be selecting another product, let's say for example this one, then tap on choose image again. And you could do this for all of the images. And also what I would recommend you do, if it is a case that you would like to make the image clickable, you can simply select the image, then you'll tap on the link icon. And from here you could paste in the link, for example you could tap on web address, and you could paste in the link that you'd like to redirect persons to. You can also choose whether you'd like when they tap on that image, they are redirected to a phone number, or if you'd like to redirect them to an internal page, you could do that by tapping on page right there. So that is how you'll be able to make the image clickable. And if it is a case that you'd like to change the text that is right here, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the text box, 
then you will see the option edit text and you can make changes you can also change the font style and size if you want and also if you like to add social media links you can do that as you can see them right here you could simply tap on that then you'll tap on set social links and from here you'll be able to paste in for example your facebook link you can tap on instagram then you could paste in your instagram link right there after you have done that if you would like to edit the email section you can tap right on the current email box then from there you could tap on form settings and you will see the option to also add field you could tap on add field and you could add other fields so instead of only collecting the person's email address you could also choose to collect their phone number if you want and if it is a case that you would like to add an element that you don't see all you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner from there you can choose to add text you can choose to add video you can add anything you want to your landing page and if it is a case that you like to add another section you can simply hover over the bottom section and tap on add section and then from there you can see even more options from the left hand menu option right there you could add an about section you can add a gallery you can add contact information or so on whatever you like to add to the page you could do that once you're finished you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner and that's it so you can see how our landing page looks at the moment hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe